So God bless you. Thank you for joining me today. In Genesis 1, beginning in verse 27, it says this. So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. He created them male and female, blessed them and said, have many children so that your descendants will live all over the earth and bring it under their control. I am putting you in charge of the fish, the birds, and all the wild animals. I have provided all kinds of grain and all kinds of fruit for you to eat. So the whole purpose of sharing that is God says, I provided you grain and all kinds of fruit for you to eat. And you know that what Adam and Eve ate, you know that it was just filled with vitamins and minerals and all kinds of good stuff. In the non-decayed world, you know that these plants and these things that they ate, that they were just incredibly healthy things to eat. Now, I'm not saying that Adam and Eve ate lilacs, but what I want to show you here is something that I have done. So I had heard that lilac jelly was good. I had heard that lilacs had something called lutein, and I'm not saying that you should eat lilacs, but that's what I had heard, and that they were good for, lutein is good for your eyes. So it says, the flowers of the lilac, the lutein is contained in a highly specific rare form not found in many other foods. So it has been linked to improved eye health, specifically with a reduced risk for macular degeneration, cataracts, etc. And also the lilac is a brain activator closely linked to memory and emotion. So I had heard that lilac jelly was good. I have lilac bushes at my house. So I decided I'm just gonna make some. So what is on the left, that sort of darker tea color is lilacs from my mini lilac bush that I steeped, which is not yet made into jelly, but will be jelly shortly. The stuff on the right is from my large lilac bush that I steeped and I made into jelly. The color, Difference is because the stuff on the left, it will have some lemon juice before it's made into jelly. But with everything that had been going on, only some of this got done. So here's the interesting thing. Um, and I'm not telling you that you should eat lilacs, but we know that what God created for them in the Garden of Eden, we know that it was just highly nutritious and just incredibly flavored and was just so beneficial and healthy for them. So having made lilac jelly, I can tell you that it tastes like lilac, but without the flowery taste, if you're visualizing that lilac smell in your mind. And it's sweet and it's actually really good. So I have some other things that I'm going to do with some violets that I made, etc. But the whole point is God created plants and they had highly nutritional value and I'm sure that Adam and Eve, everything that they ate, because there was no meat eating at this particular point, that the plants had were had incredible nutrition for them. And they got everything that they need from the plants that God had created. And so I just wanted to share my little journey into lilac jelly with all of you, knowing that it would be beneficial and that we could all learn something from it. So armor up. We write at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.